this Photoshop video, we're going to look at different ways you can select content in an image. We're going to start out by looking at the marquee tools. So the marquee tools allow you to select based on whatever shape. And notice right now I'm adding to a selection. That is just by hitting the shift key. So the same modifier keys can be used across these tools. Hit Command D to deselect. With that ellipse tool, I can freehand draw an ellipse. I can use my shift key and get a perfect circle. And I can draw from the center out using the alt key. Once I have a selection made, I can use my space bar to move that selection around. And when I let go of the space bar, the marching ants show what I have selected. Both the single row and single column select exactly that, just a single row of pixels. Let's move on to the lasso tools. So the first of the lasso tools is just the lasso tool and it draws kind of freehand. So you have to have a lot of control to get a selection. Again, I can still use those same modifier keys. So the shift key adds to a selection and the alt key subtracts from a selection. So I typically use the lasso tool when precision isn't the name of the game. I'm just selecting an area. I'll command D that. Next tool is the polygonal or polygonal lasso. And this one is going to select in areas of really 90 degree angles. Now you can use this to select around curved shapes, but you need to click down a lot to get that selection to work. With this tool, I want to come back to the beginning and you will notice that little circle I get next to the lasso tool. That lets me know I'm about, re about ready to complete the shape. The magnetic lasso uses pixel difference, color difference, to create a selection. So you can see not too bad but also not a perfect selection. This can often be a good starting point prior to selecting and masking. The next set of tools are the Quick Selection in Magic Wand tool. So Quick Selection tool has a brush size to it so you can change the size, how soft that brush is, and you just kind of mouse over that area. Again, you can use the same keyboard shortcuts we learned earlier with that shift key. You'll notice there's also a tool up here that allows you to add to a selection area. Now kind of the interesting thing about this quick selection tool is I don't have to be in that same area. I can add multiple areas, multiple colors, multiple shapes and still get a selection. Finally we have our magic wand. Now magic wand has a few more options up here and the first one I want to talk about is contiguous. So contiguous means these selections are touching, they're right next to each other. So it's just going to choose selections that are within that same area. If I uncheck contiguous, it pulls from that whole image similar tones. This tolerance value allows you to hone in on those tones. So I'll change that. So you can see that is our non-contiguous and this is our contiguous. If we take that up, let's go to 80, you can see we're getting a wider area than we were before. 
default for your tolerance level is 32, but that's worth playing with. So that gives you a brief introduction into how to select things in Photoshop.